Hello farmers, welcome back to No Man's Land, still in the month of September, and we're going to be working on the wheat field this episode. Already in the Deutz Fire, starting to spread down some digestate, already gone through a half a tank, after just making, well, half a pass on the field here. Um, but that's okay, we got plenty of digestate down at the BGA, and when I run out here, I've already bought a tanker for the Mac Anthem to bring up digestate in that, so we won't be running back and forth with... This tanker here that holds about 30 some odd thousand liters. The other tanker holds about 62. Somewhere in that vicinity there. Uh, we have, uh, well, first off, a small problem. I, did, I took the corner a little bit too late here. But that's okay. That's why they put reverse gears on these things. Um, we have one of the workers over in the field next to the old sheep pen. They are picking up stones. Getting that field all prepped up, but the only field that we're concerned about here this fall is this one right here. All the other fields still either need to be harvested or cannot be planted in until next season. So last episode, yes, the great harvest did not go as well as I was hoping it would. And I was originally hoping for 100,000 liters, but we were extremely short of that. Uh, but you know what? It is what it is, so that just means next spring we'll be planting more of a vineyard down and uh, have more to take care of more work to do but that's fine that's all part of the farming isn't it you just gotta the more you put down the more work you gotta do that just means the more money you bring in not that i need the more cash right now but it's always good as long as we're having fun that's the whole point i did bring the Kubota over to the cow barn we gotta take care of the cows this episode also because yeah from august to september we got 30 new cattle in there so all the stats, they need water, they need TMR, uh, then we might as well top them off with some bedding as well. So we'll take care of the cows after we get, take care of our wheat field here. We should not take too long here. It's not going to take us that long to spread digestate on this field. I'm hoping when I bring up the tanker, uh, that might be enough to get this field done. If one tank can get almost 75% of one headland done, I'm hoping two more tanks could get the whole field done we'll soon find out yeah so the tanker did cost about 30 grand somewhere in there somewhere in that area but we don't want to be using the same tanker as for our water and milk let's go ahead and we'll turn this off here let's go to here and we'll just jump on down to our mac anthem truck which is right here and that is the looks of our digestate slash slurry tanker I did not go to the extreme tanker that holds a quarter of a million liters. This will hold like 62,000 liters, somewhere in that general area. So swing by the BGA and start loading her up. Got kind of a copper, copper look to it with a old black finish to the tank itself. And on the back I did put a inhalation hazard um it's about the best sign i could find for digestate slurry uh they have flammable ones but um i don't think that's flammable liquid <laughs> but i'm pretty sure i don't want to say it's a hazard if you inhale this but it may have a little bit of a funny smell to it so after buying everything that we have so far this month we still got 100 grand left in our wallets so that's always good to have around I think the BGA is still bringing a little bit of cash. But now that I got this tanker, I could always swing by the, the pig pen and the hog, uh, yeah, uh, the cow barn and pick up some slurry and bring it down here. We can process that. Process that. Okay, let's go ahead and... Not only, oh, X to open up, not N. I was hitting N to open up. Yeah, I need to fill the tool first. I would like to. I had the same problem with the other tank of the first time I went to use it. Oh, Z to open cover. Not X. There we go. That always helps. Helps if you hit the right buttons. I'm not sure what the pump actually does. Pump door on, pump door off. Um... Not really sure what that does. 
Maybe one day we shall we will find out. <laughs> Actually, how much digestate do I have here? While that's loading on up, uh, I do have the lime still going. Yes, we do. Okay, let's scroll on down here. How are we doing on the sunflowers? Am I getting too many sunflowers? Got to get the sunflowers. Actually, we got plenty of room for sunflowers still. Okay, doing fine there. Uh, TMR mixer is full. Um, I got a little bit of silage left of the BGA to be processed. And actually, we don't have any energy to be processed currently. And we're not storing electricity there. So we're not going to be bringing any huge amount of money anytime soon. But we got a good amount of digestate sitting in here. So we'll be spreading that in the field for the next few episodes here and there. Close up the covers. All right, let's go give our wonderful slurry sprayer some digestate so we can finish off that field. Well, I'm not sure 67,000 liters is going to cover, but we'll find out soon. Now, this would be the first time I'm doing this in 22. We could do this in 19, where you just pull up one tanker to another and transport liquids from one tanker to another, but hopefully we can still do this. I would think we should be able to. Uh, yep, got too much weight back there. Yep. Let's unload the digestate into that one, I believe is what we're doing. Seems like that's what we did. Took about the right amount of digestate that that tanker can hold. Too bad they don't have like a pipe that would go from one to another where you actually have to fill it up. Yep, we are full. Alright, let's turn that on. And we are back off spraying digestate on our field. Now what this does is in the upper left hand corner you can see our current nitrogen level in the field. This will should uh let's see, was it eighty actually adds eighty kilograms uh per hectare. Okay. I thought it was forty, but actually it says plus eighty up there. This will save us money on fertilizer when we plant and we're going to be getting our seed and fertilizer from our seed plant that we put down just a few months ago being self-sufficient is what we're doing creating all the materials that we need at least trying to Let's hope we can get the whole field so I have to take another trip on down to the BGA. I'm pretty sure we're going to use all that digestate that we have. Because this is only the first field that we're doing. And the BGA is not going to have much more to process this year because the next time we cut grass we got to make a whole bunch of hay. Because we're going to get more and more sheep. And of course, also with more cows, we're going to need more TMR. So we got to really start stockpiling up on the hay. Alright, so I might not be able to finish this whole... Eh, maybe I might be able to. We'll see. We'll soon find out. Looks like we're going to have just enough in the tank to finish off this field. Just got to do one more slight little pass here. 
and then we can put our wheat back in and this field should be all set until next year for harvest time we won't have to take care of the weeds or anything like that because we do subsoil our fields beforehand so no weeds for another year all right we might not be able to finish the entire field actually we might be able to okay maybe not all right we're a little bit short but you know what that's good enough let's go ahead and raise that fold that up park that over here in the shade and let's go get our drill and start putting some seed in hopefully it's not over fertilized I don't think it's going to be but I said that before about the grass field and that field is over fertilized now we'll be coming right back here to this seed production building Okay, so the drill is parked in this way. Let's see, what do we got into it? Okay, we're almost full of fertilizer already. But we do need some seed. Alright, so first time I'm using the seed production building. So I'm just going to assume we're going to pull up to here. That is a, kind of a short... Oh, there goes the seed. Seed is going on in. Now if I pull up here, is that going to add fertilizer? Yes, it does. Perfect. Uh, the only thing is I probably should back up here because... I think the drill is a little bit wider. Don't want to clip the building too much. Alright, uh, we need wheat. So let's select wheat as our crop. And I need to turn on my sensors, which is Alt-B, I do believe. Yep, Alt-B. Sensors should be on. We did end up using all the slurry, or sorry, digestate out of our tanker, so that's emptied out. So I may actually bring some uh, slurry on down. Let's uh, see, okay, so it says, it knows it's wheat that we're planting in, so we're good to go. And you can actually see the fertilizing state. Yeah, we are about another 75 kilograms short per hectare. So we didn't over fertilize. We're all good. It's all good. Probably would actually want to wait a while after spraying slurry on a field before getting right in there and planting but we're going to get right here and plant it right away yeah we first started planting our fields with the t6 which we said goodbye to in last episode that t6 did rather well for the for the drills that we were using the thing was uh, definitely pulling its weight around. I'm loving this horse drill that we have. 12 meter wide, so it does exactly what we need to do. But I don't think we need a bigger drill at all yet. Um, if I decide to make more fields or bigger fields, then there'll be something to think about. But I think a 12 meter wide drill is exactly the perfect size for this uh, this farm right now. And looks like Frank is done picking up stones over there. So I think we're all caught up on subsoiling and picking up stones currently. But we still have three more fields to harvest yet this year. All of them are corn. And I don't need as much corn at the cereal factory as I originally brought on down like uh, the oats because we only got about we're only going to have about 10,000 liters of raisins 
So 20,000 liters of corn is going to be more than enough for that cereal factory for a while. But I can always put more corn into it. Next year, I won't have to plant corn for cereal. We'll have a good amount of it in storage so I can plant other types of crop. But that's something I'll have to think about over the winter, what we're going to plant. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and focus on getting this wheat in because this is key for the chickens. Never say goodbye, think I broke your trust, should have known this all along. Don't want to be the one that you're trying to avoid. I'm feeling so confused, why did I act so annoyed? Because I don't want to be strangers, baby. The next time when we meet, and oh, it dawned on me. Standing on the border The walls around me kept me safe I couldn't see that I was shutting you out I was stuck up and proud But I'm waking up now to be a lot of birds in my field trying to steal my seed that's not for you it's for the chickens get out of here almost done here i have no idea how much seed and fertilizer we've gone through uh but i don't think it's going to be too much so let's turn on the hud here and find out exactly how much i've gone through uh about halfway through so more than actually i thought it would be of course, the seed all determines on the soil type how much seed it needs. With the variable sp uh, seed rate, I almost said speed rate. And the nitrogen actually has gone through more than I thought it would as well after putting down all the digestate that we did. But we appears to need a lot of nitrogen. When I get done, I'm going to hop on out of the Deutzfar and check the field to see what the potential yield is and what the expected yield is going to be. Now, the only thing we haven't done in this field in about a year or so, or two years maybe at this point, is putting down some lime, but we're just a little bit short on it currently. The one thing I would have liked to see come to 22, and maybe it will, is crop rotation. So that was the thing with seasons in 19, we had to do crop rotation, or else uh, if you just kept planting the same crop in the field year after year after year, uh, your yield went down. And I th thought I would remember what the crop rotation was like on Griffin, Indiana that we did. I think it was wheat and canola. Uh, we kept cycling the fields around on. But look at that. We are done with the wheat. Let's hop on out here. So currently where we stand, it's uh, expected yield is 120% of a possible 125. So if the pH value was a little bit better, uh, we probably would uh, reach our peak on it. But that's, that's not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Alright, we're going to go over here and just park all this stuff up. I'll take care of most of this stuff in between episodes. I have to relocate some things around. But we actually done with it. Actually, yeah, we are done with the cedar for the year. So I'm going to just go ahead and park this in the farmyard over here. And usually when I'm done with things, I try to park it off in our workshop so I can fix it on up and get ready for next year. All right, uh, let's see, where is... Oh, let's go ahead and take care of this. 
Uh, let me clear out that course on there. So off this field here, we picked up 7,200 liters of stones. We'll put that into our lovely little collection, crush them on down and get some lime out of it. I do need to get up to the new field that we created, or expanded field, and get lime down in that field. Still plan on getting a, another tractor. And I've been, you know, eyeing up for a while the 9R, but we got to save up a good amount of cash for that. All right, I'm just going to park this here for now. And this is what I was trying to teleport to. So what we're going to do with the tanker, now we got an empty tanker. Let's go ahead up to the pigsty. We'll grab what slurry that they have, and we'll stop at the cow bar and pick up the slurry that they have. Bring it down to the BGA, because bringing stuff to the BGA pays off for us. And right now the BGA is not processing anything, and at this current stage it really doesn't have too much to process, so got to make it do something. Well, it should be kind of interesting trying to get into where the digestate tanker is for the pigsty. Go ahead and open up the covers on this. See, is this close enough? It is. All right, so just 3,000 liters, but, you know, 3,000 liters is better than no liters, I guess. As steady as she goes as I try to get out of here. We also could start bringing some manure down as well. We just topped off our greenhouses not long ago with manure, so I should be able to gather it all and bring it on down. Yeah, the pigs have made some over here. And I need to get some diesel for the Mac Anthem. It's getting a little bit low. But it's got more than enough for what we're doing here today. You can see that some of the leaves are starting to turn on the trees here in September. Actually, it looks like the cow's got a lot of manure sitting there. Alright, none of you ladies tried to escape on us now. Fits in here much better. Wait until I'm actually in before I open up the uh, the tanker itself. So why not use the slurry to use in the sprayer? If you're wondering that, well, might as well bring it on down to the BGA because a lot of this will be processed right back into digestate. So. Might as well bring in the slurry and get paid for it down the BGA and just use the digestate from there. And I was not expecting this much slurry from the cows. <laughs> I'm going to get a full tanker. Oh, almost. Almost. Let's close that on up. That's actually a really good amount of slurry. Uh, can I make this corner here with this tanker? Be a tight squeeze around that tree now I got to turn and get around their feed trough here 
Okay, I want to find a better way maybe to get in here. I mean, it can be done. At least we don't get stuck on that anymore with a new tanker. I'm going to park this on down here for now. We'll bring it on down to the BGA in a little bit. But now we're going to take care of the cows for feed and uh, straw. They will need some water, but I'll need the other tanker for that. Let's close the gate on up and grab our new Kubota. And I just thought of something, but I'm thinking the Kubota is going to be a little bit smaller than the T6 New Holland. So I'm going to say it's going to fit underneath here okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's I don't want to say a quite bit smaller than the T6. Alright, um, while that's filling up, let me come over here for a second. Yep, we are out of mineral feed. But I got maybe enough in there to let it run for a couple of hours. And while that's filling up, I should come down, down here and open up the doors so I can get in here. That's always a key thing to do. Uh, how much manure do we have over here? 20,000 liters of manure. Like I said, we could bring that down, but I'll probably wait until winter months. Make sure I make my trip count. I want to bring a trailer over here that can hold 60,000 liters just to load up 20,000 liters. There we go. Some more TMR for the cows. Have to load up again, I'm sure. I'm hoping that the barn will actually take more TMR than it has been because... Uh, okay, it didn't even take the full load that we currently have. Uh, cows right here. So this barn can only hold 34,000 liters of food in the trough. Alright, so we'll probably have to be taking care of them more often than not. Oh, they got 13,000 liters of milk. I should be bringing that on down to be processed into butter and chocolate. Which we will require the other tanker. So after I give them water, probably grab the milk and go on down to the Dairy Godmother. And uh, start making butter and chocolate for the donut factory and, well, the butter for Bread Pit. Alright, they need some more bedding, so let's go ahead and grab our bale shredder. Sheep seem to be doing just fine over there. Oh, I probably should check to see if the wool is spawning there. I think I did check, but I don't remember if I did or didn't. I got a little bit of straw in here, so let's go dump that into the barn. Was kind of sad to see the T6 go, but it also feels kind of nice to have a uh, different tractor around. change it up a little bit and the good thing is looks like the Kubota can handle this equipment just fine meaning that we got enough horsepower to run it Drop that off 
right there. Let's see, can I get one of these bales off? Yep, I should be able to. Should line myself like, up like this. Alright, let's see how well I can put the bale in the shredder today. At least this time I remember to get the bale on the spikes the correct way and get it in there. Used to fall in so much easier. There we go. I know there was a question maybe about a week ago. Yes, I did turn off manual attach. I do kind of miss doing it, but at this point in this series, we're attaching and unattaching so many things. Just getting out and attaching every little thing uh, yeah, it can annoy some people. <laughs> so, and just to get the progression going on along just a little bit quicker instead of me loading and uh, or attaching and unattaching all the time, but turn off manual attach. Plus, with the planter that we got, uh, manual attach does not work with that planter for some reason. Uh, am I going to need another bale? Uh, straw. Ah, they're pretty well maxed out there, so we're all set there. So they're all set on bedding and feed. Let's close that on up. Alright, I'm going to put the bale shredder away, I'm going to hop into the Mac Anthem, get on down to the BGA, drop off that slurry, that'll get processed, that'll get some money in, um, in a couple of hours or so, and then we'll come back, uh, drop off that tanker, and then grab the other tanker, fill up with water, there might be water in there now actually, and we'll top off the cows with water, and then empty out the water, grab their milk, bring that on down to the dairy godmother. Well, we do have 24,000 liters of water in here, but the one thing I do need to get to at some point here soon enough is make an area for a big storage shed for all of our trailers, the big trailers. Uh, we're pretty much full in that shed. And I think I have an idea, but that will have to be after we put down another sawmill and possibly buy ourselves a tree harvester as well and getting involved into doing some of that and getting rid of some of these trees around here are the cows going to need more than 24,000 liters of water no they will not All right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going here and empty out the trailer now let's back up and get all this glorious milk that the cows are producing. Always good to remember to open up the covers before filling up with some milk. So I did have to turn off the donut shop because the donut shop is out of butter. It's out of sugar. It's almost out of eggs. It's basically just about out of everything except for flour and strawberries. Other than that, it's, uh, it needs some help. Uh, yes, the sheep barn is producing wool. And it should start producing more because we should be getting more sheep here at any moment. And it'll be easy to transport that wool on down here because tight knit is just down here 
Actually, I should peek over here. Any raisins coming out here yet? Uh, actually, we do got raisins sitting outside already. And the reason why I got that on storing is because instead of just putting on distribute and going to the cereal factory, raisins could also go to the big red barn. So we'll have to transport those over ourselves, but that's fine. So it's kind of weird. To load up, you need to open up the covers, but to unload, you don't need to open up the covers. And I need to go into here. I don't know where the Dairy Godmother is on the list. Uh, here we go. Uh, butter, we got to activate. And then chocolate, we need to activate. And that should be good. So... When that gets all done, I'll bring that on over to the donut shop. I'll have to bring some sugar on over, which we got plenty of. Uh, I do have eggs over at the chicken uh, coop to bring on down. So we can start making some donuts again. Because the best price for donuts to sell is in the month of December. So we'll have to go ahead and get those on in so we can bring in some more cash. Uh, but the wheat field is done. So that'll allow us to get some uh, focus on some other things. I need to... Get some lime down in the other fields, uh, the sunflower fields. I think we'll be up there probably next episode. And I'm not sure what else we'll be doing next episode. I haven't really thought about it. I was kind of focused on the wheat field today. And maybe fix up that part of the bridge. Because every time I come over with an empty tanker, it bounces up in the air. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in No Man's Land. But until then, have a good one.